I'm Sid Chimnub, and do you live in the city? Or have you lived in your local downtown? If so, you might have experienced some tough parking times. I've built this self-parking car, and it can park all by itself. Let's see it in action! Welcome to the self-parking challenge. Here's my car, and here's a very tiny parking space between these two walls, and here's the curb. So this car should go and park nicely into the spot without hitting any of these two walls. You don't want your car to get scraped, do you? I don't. Now let's see how this car responds to the challenge. So I'm going to start it, blocks everything, and then it detects the first wall, and then detects the second, unlocks the pin so the car can turn, and then it turns. Wow, it parked it without even touching the curb or the walls. So how did this car park into this parking spot? Well first, let me show you all the main parts of it. So here, you see there's the distance sensor. So at first, like, when it detected the walls, it knows how to park. So it was the distance sensor that detected it. And then, here, we have the steering wheel lock which since without the lock, the car can't go straight, it will turn. So we have this lock, so when it's engaged, the car will go straight. And then when the lock is not engaged, which is after it detects the second wall, then this motor, the steering wheel motor, could turn. Now, the last two motors are this motor, which controls this wheel, and the wheel over here, that, and that motor and that wheel is controlled by this motor. So now here's the program for the self-parking car. So when the program starts, A is the steering lock pin, and it's gonna be engaged, and D is the steering wheel, and it'll make sure it's going straight so the lock can be in. So here, it's gonna find the spot, and then it's going to count how much the, this motor B moved. If it moved a lot, like around like 600 units, then it's going to do the parallel parks because it knows that it's going to have enough space. If there isn't much space, it's going to move back in perpendicular. So what are these broadcast message one and two blocks? Well, here, when it, the broadcast is broadcasted, here it's going to receive message one. And this is the small part of the program that will lift the steering lock pin. And the reason why it's before the parallel park is because in, when, when you're doing parallel park, it needs to turn and the lock prevents it from turning. So it needs to get the lock out of the way and then it will parallel park or back in park. So the fine spot is going to move straight. So then it's going to keep moving straight until there, it's going to detect the first wall and then it's going to turn on this animation and then it will go until it, it detects the second wall and then it will turn on this animation and then it's going to wait and it's going to stop moving so this is the part where it parallel parks so it's going to go to the right so and then it's going to go straight then left right and straight and for perpendicular parking, it'll just go right. So it'll go into the spot like this and then straight to fix it. So that is the program of the self parking car. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to stay tuned because I'll be uploading more on Python, Lego Robotics, and Artificial Intelligence. Please like, share, and self park into your, in my subscribe button. Bye.